In this video, we will look at the new SD-WAN capabilities introduced in Sophos Firewall version 19. A new SD-WAN link management solution for easily setting up WAN routing strategies. SD-WAN profiles define a routing strategy across multiple WAN link gateways, and it includes support for more than two links, enabling seamless and efficient routing and rerouting of traffic based on WAN link performance. This optimizes performance for your SD-WAN network and helps ensure continuity in the event of an ISP disruption. SD-WAN profile routing strategies can be based on first available or performance-based link criteria. Performance monitoring criteria includes jitter, latency, and packet loss, and can utilize multiple probe targets for ping and TCP probes. SD-WAN profiles can automatically select the best link based on performance or according to your custom SLA policies that define specific values for maximum acceptable jitter, latency, or packet loss before rerouting over a better performing link. Let's see how we can set this up. Navigate to Routing SD-WAN Routes and add a new route named Demo SD-WAN. We will keep the traffic matching criteria as is for the simplicity of this demo. Under the link selection settings, it shows the option of selecting primary and backup gateways in case you want to continue using this routing method for active backup gateway failover use cases. However, for automatic link selection based on performance or according to your custom SLA policies, a new option for SD-WAN profile is added. We will create a new profile named SD-WAN Demo. The routing strategy can be based on the first available gateway or based on performance. Up to eight gateways can be part of a profile. If SLA is disabled, the system will choose the first available gateway that qualifies the health checks. If SLA is enabled, the gateway that qualifies SLA will be selected in top-down order. You can drag and drop to reorder the priority of the gateways. The next section is SLA, where all the magic happens. You have two options to decide from. The first is best quality, for use cases where you need the system to select the best performing link from the configured gateways. This could be useful for non-business critical apps. The second option is Custom SLA, and it is based on any combination of latency, jitter, and packet loss. For each of the criteria that you want to use, you can define maximum values. The default values are based on general web traffic, but examples of other traffic types can be seen by hovering over the information icon for Recommended SLA Values. For this demo, we will keep the defaults. The next section is Health Check. SD-WAN profiles provide granular options for monitoring the health of a link. Note that when you have an SLA enabled for the profile, you cannot disable the Health Check. The Health Check can be done using either PING or TCP to either one or two probe targets. When TCP is selected, the port must be entered for the probe targets. You can also refine the health checks by specifying the interval between checks, response timeout, when to deactivate and activate gateways, and the sample size that is used for the SLA. Let's save the SD-WAN profile and the SD-WAN route. Under the SD-WAN profile, we can see that the newly created profile appears at the top. After a few seconds, once the SLA verdict is determined based on SLA samples. Besides the profile name, it will show the overall status of the profile. If any one of the gateways meets the SLA criteria, it will show a green indication. You can also see the list of gateways configured in the profile and the one that is currently active. The link status icon under the status column gives a precise summary of configured settings and the real-time performance of gateways. The historical performance icon under status 
takes you to the new SD-WAN performance monitoring section of the product. You can monitor SD-WAN link performance in real time with separate graphs for latency, jitter, and packet loss. Timeline selections for real time, the last 24 or 48 hours, or over the last week or month are provided. For troubleshooting, SD-WAN routing information has been added to the logs along with a new SD-WAN log viewer module allowing you to focus on log entries specific to SD-WAN routing and health. For this demo video, let's quickly enable some of those parameters and hit the Apply button. It shows the name of the SD-WAN profile policy route that we have created earlier. The SD-WAN module in the log viewer helps the administrator to see the health check status and the route changes that gets triggered due to SLA or gateway health checks. Separate icons for each log type allow you to easily distinguish the various information types available in the logs. Finally, under the System Services Log Settings, we also give the flexibility to the administrators if they need to enable or disable the SD-WAN profile and route-related logs. This concludes the demo of SD-WAN capabilities available from version 19. We hope you liked the video, and thanks for watching.